Hi, my name is William Donahue and I am a plant science student at the University of Florida studying sustainable crop production. I've been involved with the Amazing Grace Crop Maze for about five years now. Um, I started out as a farm hand, kind of doing work around the farm. So normally when people come out to the crop maze, they think that the crop that we're growing is corn, because that's kind of what is traditionally associated with um, crop mazes in America. Um, in Florida, it's a little bit harder to manage corn. Um, we have a lot of heat um, all through the summer, um, and also the ears of corn can weigh down the stalks. So what we've decided to do is to go with sorghum, um, and sorghum doesn't carry those heavy ears on the sides of the stalks, um, and instead carries a seed head at the very top of the stalk. And in normal agriculture, that seed head is used for animal feeds and for um, different processing components. Um, but it's really drought resistant, um, it's really good, it, it has a really good upright habit and so that's what we decided to grow out here. It's a type of sorghum, hybridized sorghum. People when they come to the maze, of course they come for the main attraction which is the crop maze. Um, but in order to get them to stay for a little while and enjoy the farm, we have a couple of other things that they can do. Um, and those include a barnyard ball zone, um, a corn crib, um, cow trains, a pumpkin patch, uh, and a lot of other small seasonal attractions that kind of come and go um, and those change yearly so it really does vary by which year you're here. I think the best part about the maze is that we provide a safe and fun atmosphere for families to come enjoy during the fall season um, and that's really why we do what we do. 